In the midst of March Madness, we find managers on a mission. By chance, a U of M student manager realized there was a market for previously used and unused athletic apparel. As WCCO's Mike Max shares tonight, the prices not only benefit consumers, but help the next generation of coaches. Miles will put it up from the wing. Three more. How about that? It is three weeks of basketball, three weeks of branding. Teams play games, teams sell their team's clothing to fans in the process. I mean, it's not just shirts. I mean, look, look, this is a box of shoes. Yeah. Explain to me where this would come from and, and how this goes. Which brings us here to a warehouse in St. Louis Park. Drew Bull was a one-time manager at the University of Minnesota and graduate assistant at a couple different football programs. When Tubby Smith was fired as gopher basketball coach, he gave Bull his coaching clothing he would never wear again. Bull sold it and found out there was demand. Coach Smith was actually fired at Minnesota, and um, it was his donation of all of his used and excess Minnesota items uh, that he, of course, you know, was no longer going to be wearing. He was right. So he decided to develop a network of coaches and programs that would donate their outdated apparel. He could sell it on his website at a discount. Average sales price is, is a little under $30 an item. Um, you know, so if I had to guess, I would say it's at least over 50% below um, what you're going to pay at a, you know, a bookstore. Former Gopher Al Nunes was asked to sit in on his board. When he first entered the warehouse, he realized the potential. So how do we take advantage of something like this? Youth programs, all the shoes, football shoes, basketball shoes, track shoes, shorts, any team, your favorite team. The proceeds are not for profit. They go to fund mission trips for college student managers and graduate assistants to Africa, where they teach and network and hopefully develop a character component they can take into a coaching career. Really, the entire organization, it's really founded on the belief that sports is one of the most influential resource-abundant industries in our country. What has evolved is amazing. One to 2,000 pounds of new inventory arrive every week. From big colleges to the big leagues, they get everything. The L.A. Clippers are great donors to you. But, I mean, how many people wear a size 16 shoe that you can move these products? Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, obviously, this item, it's something where it'll move quick just since it is a pretty unique. These are, okay. you know, promo-type Jordans. Probably our most common items will end up being, um, you know, items that are getting issued to coaches and support staff. So it'll be anywhere from the footwear, uh, you know, to sweats, to polos, to workout shirts, shorts. And the potential for the consumer means fans can win. And so can the kids who have been unable to afford the top shelf. It's less than half price. I mean, come on, brand new Nike shoes, brand new, and you're paying half price for them? All the while funding what they hope is a fundamental character change in coaches in big time sports, during a time when scandals are again common, all because one student manager unleashed his entrepreneurial spirit. And the ceiling for this project is still out there, somewhere. We just continue to look up and um, something that's been an unbelievable blessing for us. Mike Max, WCCO for Sports. And you can shop for apparel and support managers on a mission through WCCO.com slash links. Great